lot of people are going to make ham for Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. yep. So today, a way to use the leftover ham and take it up a notch, mm -hmm. kick it up a notch to make something that will really wow your family the next day. Chef Kate is back from Jones Dairy Farm with a ham and cheese waffle strata. I'm I so love excited this. about this. This is great. I think people are always looking for something fun to do with. They've got, you know, in Thanksgiving, it's leftover turkey, but a lot of people for Christmas or holiday dinners will do ham. Make a ham, exactly. And this is a great recipe for the leftover ham. And this one, particularly, if you're going to have people over and you're having overnight guests, this is actually better if you make it the night before. Let it sit, let the eggs soak in, and then bake it the next morning. That's so, the best love to have it. something in your refrigerator mm -hmm. that you pop in the oven and you serve it hot the next day to guests. It's so stress free. I love yeah. that you can do it ahead of time. Sit at the table and have a cup of coffee while it's baking instead of being in the kitchen and being so busy. Yeah, so, absolutely. And is this easy also? Totally easy. Okay. okay. What you got? Star well, ingredient. Star ingredient is, of course, the Jones Dairy Farm ham. Mm -hmm. um, all of the hams, we have some different sizes sitting there. Oh, they come yeah. in. All different sizes, so whether you're looking for a large ham to feed a lot of people, um, or if there's only maybe two of you or four of yeah. you in the family, you can buy one of the smaller hams. Mm -hmm. You got your papa ham, I like your mama ham, <laughs> dainty, and your baby ham, dainty ham. Yeah, I like that. And then we also have the ham steaks. Mm -hmm. If you only have, you know, maybe one, you're just cooking a small meal for one or two people. Yeah, just um, a single slice. And there. then Tiffany's favorite, the Canadian bacon. This is my favorite. Love this is Canadian always bacon. in my refrigerator at all times. And you so can use this too. in this recipe too. If you don't want to, oh. you know, buy a, a bigger piece of ham, you can use. The Canadian bacon. Okay, awesome. So, I had a song in college called I Love Ham Steak. All of yeah. my friends know it for real, and I would sing uh -uh. it every morning at brunch. Really? Mm -hmm. I, bet they I bet it never got old. It did not. They still uh -huh. to this day know the song. And you still remember all the Oh, yeah. yeah. There really isn't worse. It's just I Love Ham Steak over and over in a really weird voice. It's really? so yeah. funny. Interesting. Yeah, I love it. Well, you can sing you know. that while you're making this. Yeah, yeah Christmas night. <laughs> okay, so, and as we know, with the Jones Dairy Farm ham, certified gluten free. Um, it's made from a 100-year-old cure, so mm. same one that they've been using for 100 years. Um, very, very, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll taste the quality in the product. There's never any liquid smoke used, yeah. so it's smoked in the Jones Smokehouse using only real hardwood hickory chips. That's what I Love think it. tastes like the difference. You yes. know, you can really taste that difference when Absolutely. you have this ham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As Absolutely. you know, I love my ham. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how it's so made. This is totally easy. This one's going to be the finished product over here. So okay. we start with um, just a 9 by 13 pan and make sure you spray it really well. Okay. okay. And then six waffles in the bottom. There is a recipe um, attached to the recipe for the strata for the buttermilk waffle. Yum. But if you don't have a waffle maker, if you don't want to make the waffles, just go buy frozen. Okay. Try and get nice. the buttermilk so they're a little thicker and toast them before you put them in here. Oh, toast them first. Toast okay. them first. Okay. Yep. So we have the waffles. I have six of them in the bottom. We're going to top with another six. Okay. And then we've got six six eggs. So we're oh, just going to. Oh, look how she's doing that. <laughs> I've never seen that, that before. So cool. Look at quicker. that. It seems to go quicker okay, in here. Okay, she's going to do it again. Just hold on. All right. Go. <laughs> Look at that. How she, oh, I've never seen anybody use a whisk that like that. If you're not using a big bowl, it's easier in here to just That's do it that cool. way. And then we've got two cups of milk. You just changed the way everyone whisks eggs <laughs> I know. forever. That's what, I've never seen do it again. do that. <laughs> we're going to make a mess. All right, then All right. we're going to add in a little bit of nutmeg. Okay. And a little bit of cinnamon. Okay. And some vanilla. Okay. And yeah. then just a little bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> there we go again. <gasps> oh, that's great. That's awesome. And you can use whatever. To, oops, I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. We can use a uh, washing machine. There's a little bit of breeze there. <laughs> you know? We, we, can, uh, we can use whatever kind of cheese you want in this recipe. I'm using Swiss. If you okay. want to do it with cheddar, that oh. would work really well, too. Yeah, All right. Swiss. So mm -hmm. we're going to layer first with the ham. And like I said, this okay. is these are some nice slices. If you have um, any kind of leftover, they don't have to be, you know, perfectly perfectly oval or round like this, whatever you've got like left perfect, over. Perfect though for the waffle size. Yes, they'll yeah. work very, very well for this. Which one was that? Do you know, was that the dainty or the family? This one was the family. Ham. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay, then we're going to dump our cheese on top. Yes, and this really, are. this is so easy. It really is. Love it. Yum. That's going to feed a lot of people because it's dense. It does. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's and it's, awesome. it, you know, it's, it looks nice because it looks like it's going to be cut into six, but really, I mean, you can get 12 out of this oh, easily. Oh, for Serve sure. Right. Some, Serve Especially it with some fruit. Serve, yeah, with fruit. We got some blueberries here. I love blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna layer. Oh, no the rest egg of the sauce waffles yet. on top. Okay, yeah, it goes on the very top. Oh. oh. Because you want it. It's it's kind of like a, a play on a Monte Cristo. So where you have like that French toast egg bake, gotcha. uh, yeah. egg mixture, and then you dip it, and then you cook it. And yeah. you know what? Um, I'm glad you brought um, jam in front, because I was going to say a Monte Cristo is so good with especially strawberry or raspberry jam. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and that's what I have. I have some red raspberry and black raspberry preserves. Yum. So this just gets poured over the top. Okay. 
Look at that. Oh, so That's you're really getting good. it in there too. Yeah, well, you see, and letting it, uh, if you make it the day before, you allow all that egg to soak into the waffles. Exactly. So it's going to. really smart. It's going to sit overnight. Okay. So I just had my first nice. Monte Cristo the other day. Oh, you did? Yeah, I never knew what that was. Jump. And you know what? Usually Monte Cristo is ham and turkey. So if yeah. you've got leftover turkey from the holidays too, throw it in there. Throw it in. Mm, good idea. Absolutely. Layer it up. You oh, while you're pouring that on, I just want to point out we have other Jones Dairy Farm products to your left, mm -hmm. um, screen right. But mm -hmm. they make great sausage. Um, we already showed the ham and Canadian bacon, but a lot of mm -hmm. other great products that you can find in your freezer or refrigerated section at the grocery store. Okay, what's next? Okay. So after we, uh, I'm, this is the fun part, so you get to mm -hmm. push it down and listen to that little squishy, squishy noise. So that's okay. fun for the kids. That's cute. This. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so oh. then you're going to refrigerate that at least 30 minutes or overnight would be better. Okay. I'm going to cut a okay. little piece off to bite. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Oh my gosh. And then top it with whatever you want, Tiffany. We've got, oh, like I said, the right. black right. raspberry and red raspberry preserves. You are okay. just. Fresh berries. My best friend right oh. now. Orange slices. We've got maple syrup. Usually oh, a Monte Cristo has a little this. powdered sugar. So oh, yeah. Okay. Put a little powdered sugar on there. Oh, sneer up. Look and at how pretty that looks. Look how cute this is. If you've never tried crumb oh, fresh. Oh, crumb fresh is delicious. Delicious. Okay. okay. Look at us making a sandwich. This is like the world's greatest thing ever. Okay. Well, she's taking a bite of that. I'm going to give some information because oh the Jones, the Jones oh Dairy Farm people have their own market, and it's open Tuesday oh through Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tiffany has visited. It's a wonderful place to go and you see lots of great Jones Dairy Farm products, but there's a lot of other mm. wonderful um, local Wisconsin mm -hmm. products that they sell, too. It's a product local mm. indicator that you can find online. So, again, the Jones Market is in Fort Atkinson, very close to the Fireside Theater, Tuesdays through Saturdays, 8 until 6 o'clock. Um, and then the product locator, so that you can find the ham and other great Jones Dairy Farm products. Go to jonesdairyfarm.com to find out more. Mm. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's where you can find a grocery store that carries all that good stuff. Thank you. You so got to make Kate. this. Thank you. Seriously, I'm gonna make this. Good. Yum, this is so good. So easy. Uh -huh. Good stuff. Thank good. you so Thanks, much. Kate. Thank Kate. you. Great to see you.